is a robotic race car, and our hope is that as we develop this project further, that we can have a robotic car that can drive around a track at the same level of performance as the best human drivers. Uh, this is a project that we're doing in my lab at Stanford University together with our colleagues at Volkswagen and Audi who are sponsoring the project. We, we began working on, on some of the algorithms and the ideas in uh, 2008 and then did a lot more testing of the car in, in 2009 and 2010. So one of the things that we hope to do is to capture the ability of the race car driver to use all of the available friction between the tire and the road. So race car drivers use every bit of friction between the tire and the road to go fast, and we want to use every bit of friction between the tire and the road to be safe. So our hope is that we can develop cars that are capable of avoiding any accident that can physically be avoided cars that will help you stay on the road and cars that will avoid spins at the same time. One of the easiest scenarios uh, to have a, a fully autonomous car is a highway. Um, as you go through city driving, there are a lot of things to deal with in terms of stoplights, pedestrians, uh, other things like that. So the highway driving scenario is, is one of the easiest. And that's where people are looking for some of the first applications. So right now, David Vaden, the president of Thunder Hill, is out in the car, and he's doing two things. First of all, he's giving us some comparative lap data so we understand how fast a, a skilled driver can push the car and what line he takes around the track. The other thing that we're doing with David is we're monitoring his brainwaves as he does this. So we're recording his brainwaves to figure out what part of the racing experience is instinctive and what also requires conscious thought on the part of the driver. And our hope is that as we look at these things, we can realize where the best drivers have these instincts and develop ways to build those instincts in even average drivers. So right now we've been focused on how fast we can drive around the track. So we don't have the ability in there right now to react and avoid obstacles should things change. And that's really one of our current areas of research. We can easily change the path that the car is going around very quickly, and we want to build that into the ability to detect obstacles and take paths around them. All right, Joe, on your mark. Three, two, one, go. 